Hello everyone, now let us discuss about the brief anatomy of integumentary system or skin. So the skin also known as cutaneous membrane covers the external surface of the body and is the largest organ of the body in terms of both surface area and weight. This is an important point. Skin is the largest organ of the body in terms of both surface area and weight. In adult, the skin covers an area of about 2 square meters and weighs about 4.5 to 5 kgs that is about 7% of the total body weight. And now coming to the layers of the skin. The two main layers of the skin are epidermis and dermis. As we have discussed earlier, the layers of the skin are epidermis and dermis. Epidermis is the superficial thinner portion composed of epithelial tissue. The superficial thinner portion composed of epithelial tissue is epidermis and epidermis is avascular. Now coming to next layer, dermis. Dermis is the deeper thicker portion composed of connective tissue. Dermis is composed of connective tissue whereas epidermis is composed of epithelial tissue. Dermis is vascular epidermis is avascular that is why whenever you have a superficial cut that is whenever epiderm there is a cut in the epidermis there will not be any blood but whenever there is a deeper cut that is the cut occurs to dermis because it is vascular then will then you can see blood whenever there is a deeper cut now coming to the next layer deep to dermis but not part of the skin deep to dermis but not part of the skin is the subcutaneous layer also called as hypodermis hypodermis is not part of a skin it is the next layer to dermis deep to dermis there is subcutaneous layer which is called as hypodermis this layer consists of alveolar and adipose tissue the fibers that extend from dermis anchor the skin to the subcutaneous layer which in turn attaches to underlying fascia. Fascia is nothing but the connective tissue around the muscles and bones. The subcutaneous layer or the hypodermis it serves as a storage depot for fat. Hypodermis is the storage depot of fat and contains large blood vessels that supply the blood to skin. And hypodermis is not part of the skin. This is also important term. And this region and even sometimes dermis also contains nerve endings called as pacinia corpuscles. They are sensitive to pressure. Now coming to the diagrammatic representation of skin. So as we all know the skin is composed of two layers epidermis and dermis. Deep the dermis, not a part of the skin, is the subcutaneous layer which is also called as hypodermis and this is a fat depot and it serves or contains major blood vessels that supply blood to skin. Subcutaneous layer or hypodermis is not part of a skin. Skin is composed of epidermis and dermis only. Epidermis in turn itself has five layers that we will be discussing in the next slide. Whereas dermis is composed of two regions, papillary region and reticular region. Now let us discuss the various layers of epidermis. So epidermis is composed of five layers. Stratum bacilli is the deepest layer of epidermis. Stratum bacilli, stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum, stratum lucidum and stratum corneum. These are the five layers of epidermis. From our CPT or coding point of view, one important point is constant exposure of skin to friction stimulates increased cell production and keratin production that results in the formation of callus. Callus is nothing but an abnormal thickening of stratum corneum. So callus is abnormal thickening of stratum corneum. The five layers of epidermis are stratum bacilli, stratum spinosum, stratum bacilli, stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum, stratum lucidum, stratum corneum. Stratum corneum is the topmost layer of epidermis and thickening of 
stratum corneum results in the formation of cons and callus. Now let us discuss in detail about each layer of epidermis. The first is stratum bacilli. Stratum bacilli is the deepest layer composed of single row of cuboidal or columnar keratinocytes that contain scattered keratin intermediate filaments. Stem cells undergo cell division to produce new keratinocytes, melanocytes and Merkel cells associated with Merkel discs are scattered among keratocytes. Basal stratum is the deepest layer composed of single row of cuboidal or columnar keratocytes that contains scattered keratin intermediate filaments. The next layer is stratum spinosum. 8 to 10 rows of many sided keratinocytes with bundles of keratin intermediate filaments contain arm like processes of melanocytes and Langerhans cells. Stratum spinosum is composed of 8 to 10 rows of many sided kerat keratinocytes with bundles of keratin intermediate filaments and it contains arm like processes of melanocytes and Langerhans cells. Now coming to next layer, stratum granulosum. Five, 3 to 5 rows of flattened keratinocytes in which organelles are beginning to degenerate. Cells contain the protein keratohyalin that converts keratin intermediate fila filaments into keratin and lamellar granules that, re that release the re lipid rich water repellent secretion. So the significance of stratum granulosum is it is composed of 3 to 5 rows of flattened keratinocytes in which organelles are be, be, beginning to degenerate and their cells contain cells of stratum granulosum contain a protein keratohyalin. This converts keratin intermediate filaments into keratin and lamellar granules that release the lipid rich water repellent secretion. The next layer is stratum lucidum. It is present only in skin of fingertips, palms and soles. Stratum lucidum is present only in the skin of fingertips, palms and soles. It is con consists of 4 to 6 rows of clear, flat, dead keratinocytes with large amounts of keratin. And finally, stratum corneum. 25 to 30 rows of dead flat keratinocytes that contain mostly keratin. This is the topmost layer of epidermis and thickened stratum corneum leads to the formation of callus. Now coming to layers of dermis or regions. Dermis has two regions, papillary region and reticular region. Now coming to papillary region, it is the superficial portion of dermis, about one fifth, consists of dense irregular connective tissue with thin collagen and fine elastic fibers, contains dermal ridges that houses the capillaries, mesonar corpuscules and free nerve endings. Papillary region has these free nerve endings. Next reticular region, it is the deeper portion of the dermis, about four fifths. Consists of dense irregular connective tissue with bundles of thick collagen and some coarse elastic fibers. Spaces between these fibers contain some adipose tissue, hair follicles, nerves, sebaceous glands and pseudoferous glands. By this we complete the regions of dermis. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.